They find it offensive to be on the floor with their Wharton MBAs. And the problem is, they don't want to get their feet dirty, their diploma is soiled with sweat, or understand the real cost. That's just a portion of sweat. It's a Pulitzer Prize winning play, and it's running right now at the Mark Taper, downtown LA. This play follows a group of friends, but then everything changes the relationships, uh, a lot of tension because there are layoffs at the local factory. Michael O'Keefe plays a factory worker turned bartender. We know you from so many great movies and, and TV shows. And, and now you're ba back on stage because it, you've been on Broadway. I have. And yeah. uh, this, this play centers around your character and the and, and cast of friends. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's pretty heavy stuff. Well, Lynn Nottage uh, did an extraordinary thing with sweat. Um, she read an article in the New York Times about Reading, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and about how it was a, a town where the unions were broken up by management. And the, a lot of the unions were locked out. Some of the workers have been locked out as long as two years. And she read the article in 2011, and instead of just research, researching the story, she actually went to Reading, Pennsylvania, and lived there, off and on for a year, and then wrote this story about these characters, all of whom come to this bar and spend their off time there, and all of whose lives are completely changed and, in a sense, tragically undone because mm -hmm. of what happens when the union is busted up at this in this little mill town. And what we talk about as a, a Pulitzer Prize winner, we know the writing is good. You talk about how she immersed herself in, in Pennsylvania and the culture there. And this sorts, this we sort of start to see this story on unravel on stage. We, mm -hmm. we, the audience goes through it because right. friendships are lost. We're talking about uh, uh, racial tension, political tension, and right. all the implications, things that really make us think. That's right. The, the powerful aspects of the play and the, and the revelations about how race, economics, societal pressure, um, income disparity all come into play and there's no preaching. It's all beautifully revealed in the, in the undoing of all these characters. In the center of the play are two women, one African American, one, one white, who are both competing for the same jobs, they're best friends. When the black woman gets the job, the white woman's worst impulses are revealed. Mm. They each have sons, one black, one white, both of whom are working in the plant. Their lives are totally upended because of the in a sense, the pressure put on them by their parents, especially the, the white woman's pressure on her young son. So when the play opens, we see these two young men and they're just being released from prison. You know, and we, and we think as an audience, what happened? Why are they being released? And one of the brilliant things that, that Lynn does as a playwright is she directs you in one way to think that one character probably got murdered or physically harmed, and then she upends all of your expectations oh. and Audiences are gasping at the end of this really? play. Yeah, I get really the sense powerful. this is not a, a this is not a feel good movie, but it's a I mean a play, but this is a necessary play, something that makes us think about what's going on in our That's society. That's right, and it's funny. I don't know how she does it. Really? Every day, yeah, I'm like you know Lynn Nottage. I am not worthy. I bow down before <laughs> you every day because she has this capacity as a writer with not only dealing with these complicated social issues, but it's funny, it's insightful, mm -hmm. there's great laughs all the way through the show. Um, I, you know, I can't say enough about it, really. It, it seems like you really love it. How does the cast feel after the show? Because I know the audience feels like it's something that they need to continue the conversation with. Yeah. Uh, what's it like for you? I'm going to need a four-month massage. <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> it's it, so exhausting. It, yeah. yeah, we have a stage fight at the end of the play mm -hmm. where three of these young men. Can we see? Can you see all these pictures? Oh yeah, see, absolutely. See these so three young the men. Fight? This is Grantham Coleman, Will mm -hmm. Hockman, and then Peter Mendoza down there. Over here. Mm -hmm. The four of us. That's me. I'm the older guy. <laughs> The four of us get into this fight at the end of the play, and I have to chase these young actors around every night. I'm actually counting down the days. I have 31 more fights with these guys. That, so ex that explains the need for a massage. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to need a vacation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Honduras and just retire, I think. That's what I'm going to do after this. <laughs> no, your fans need you. All right. 31 more chances to see the production. That's right. More information about Sweat at the Mark Taper. This is playing right now in downtown L.A. Check out our website. It's kcal9.com. Click Scene on TV. Thanks for being here. Good luck with the run. Thank you. Thanks All for right. having me.